just this past week, I was doing a podcast interview and I was actually asked a question that I didn't have the answer for. I was completely unprepared to have to address this. And I think we've all found ourselves in those spots. What's the best approach to deal with that situation? Absolutely. Uh, We all do. So in those moments where we don't know the answer, the best thing to do is to say, I don't know, but I'm going to follow up with you. And here's what I'm going to do to learn that information. So you commit to following up, you share how you're going to get the information and when you'll follow up by. And if you have a hunch or an inkling, then you can share that. You can say, my hunch is it's this. There's actually some interesting research that says when you answer a question that way, that is say, I don't know, but I'm going to follow up and here I have a hunch, your credibility is actually enhanced almost as much, if not more, than had you actually just answered the question because you're demonstrating tenacity, creativity, the ability to go figure things out. So many of us feel really badly when we can't answer a question. In fact, it actually can help you as long as you follow up in the way that you promise. Now, I'm not suggesting by any means that you purposely say you don't know an answer that you know the answer to, but we put ourselves under a lot of pressure when we don't know the answer, and it's okay. It's okay not to know the answer. That's something I learned very well when I was at the Naval Academy. You didn't have an answer, I'll find out, sir. (laughs) And, And then you do. You follow up right away. Exactly.